Welcome to CITC 2323. This is Lab 3.1 for configuring and managing backups. Okay. In this lab, we will install server backups. We will perform a manual backup of a local volume to a remote share. We will backup the system state. We will manage the VSS settings. And we will enable shadow copies for shared volumes. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with this exercise. First thing we'll be doing is installing Windows Server Backup. So let's go to our manage, add rules, next, 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 next. And to our features, we'll be scrolling down to Windows Server Backup, checking it, next, install, Okay, now the installation is complete, and now conclude exercise 8.1. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with this exercise. In this exercise, we'll be performing a manual backup of local folders to a remote share. So let's go ahead and op hop over to our storage one, and we'll log in as the Contos administrator. So inside of this server, we'll be opening up the file explorer. We now we're getting to our C drive and we'll be creating a new folder. We'll be naming it BAK back. And we'll be right clicking the folder properties and then we'll be selecting the sharings tab, advanced sharing. And we'll be selecting share this folder. And then we'll be selecting permissions. And then from here, we'll be selecting with everyone, allow, and that. apply, okay, okay, close, and in the file explorer for the backup, be creating two new folders within the backup and we'll be naming it backup one and backup two okay so let's go ahead and open up the Windows backup administrator so let's go ahead and go into our server manager tools Windows Server Backup. We'll be clicking Local Backup. Okay. Windows Server Backup is not installed, is what it says. Maybe it's just near restart it. Okay, so let's kind of continue with this exercise. Just click local backup. And after it loads, we'll be going over to the action panel. over to the action panel and be clicking back at once okay so we'll be selecting different options and maybe choose this option if you have not created a scheduled backup or to specify location or items for this backup that are different from the scheduled backup so say next the backup configuration, resetting custom. Okay, so for the selecting items for backup, we selecting add items. We're expanding the C drive and going into the users 
and then from here we'll be selecting the program data folder which I think I'm overlooking it oh it's right there okay so we'll just be selecting the program data and the users folder so we'll be backing up those two main ones clicking OK next and then for the specified destination, we'll be collecting remote shared folder. For the location, we'll be going to our storage one back and then back one. Which okay. Just type that out real quick. Okay, so now that we have that typed out, reselecting next, and back up. And after this backup is complete, the exercise for backing up data folders within the Windows Server Backup feature will be completed and we'll move on to the next exercise alright and the backup is complete so let's go ahead and begin with the next exercise we'll be backing up the system state so we're inside of the server 2 and we'll be going over to our tools Windows server backup once we have it opened up we'll be clicking the, <coughs> the local backup Clicking back up once. We we'll have to just select a backup. We'll be specifying different options next. From here, we we'll selecting custom next, and then we'll be adding the items, and we'll be selecting bare me bare metal recovery. And then after this, we'll be deselecting bare metal recovery, so we have system state selected. Um, and we'll be also deselecting system reserve and the C drive and we'll be selecting OK after we have just the uh, system state selected we'll be clicking next and for specifying the destination type we'll be clicking remote shared folder next for locations we'll be going to our backup to inside of our storage one. Let's make sure it's still loaded up. Okay. Now that we have selected so next back up. And we'll just wait for the backup to run this course. And after it's done, we'll have the backup of the system tape state for our server too. For this next exercise, we'll be going into our start menu on server two, and we'll be choosing command prompt admin. In the dialog box, we'll be typing vss admin forward slash question mark and with that it will uh, show us a list of commands that we can use with the VSS admin next we'll be typing in the following to see a list of VSS writers on our server 2 and their current state so VSS admin list writers next thing we'll be doing is executing another command to see a list of VSS providers on server 2 so the next thing we'll be doing is executing another command to see a list of existing volume shadows so VSS list 
shadows. And then you can see no items found. That satisfies the query. The next thing we'll be doing is typing in a command to list the volumes that are eligible for shadow copies. So if you just list volumes, and you can see we these two. Next thing we'll be doing is viewing our used, allocated, and maximum shadow copy storage space. So we type VSS list storage, uh, shadow storage. You can see used to zero, allocated to zero, and maximum is six gigabytes. And that will conclude our exercise for that. For that. In this exercise, we'll be enabling shadow copies for shared volumes. So let's go ahead and start with this. The first thing we'll be doing is going to our file explorer inside of server one. Into our C drive and we'll be creating a new folder. We're we'll naming it corp docs. And we're going to share the corp doc folder. We'll be configuring the permissions to allow change for everyone. After that, we'll be opening up the corp docs. Inside of here, we'll be creating a text file, naming it agenda.txt. And then we're going to type the name within the agenda text file, and we're going to save and close the file. And after that, we'll be going over to our tools, computer management. And we'll just give it a second to load. After we're inside the, of computer management, we'll be expanding the storage node and clicking disk management. So, <coughs> just close that out. Be right clicking the C drive, and from here, we'll be choosing properties. We'll be selecting the Shadow Copies tab. And we'll be selecting the C drive and clicking Enable. Then from here, we just want to select Yes to confirm that we want to enable Shadow Copies on the volume for the C drive. And then we'll be selecting OK. Okay, and let's actually go back to that, and we'll be selecting Create Now, and we just create a second snapshot of the selected volume, which is C drive. Then we'll be going to our Settings dialog box, selecting Schedule. and we can see how often that the shadow copies are created and at what time they are select ok and select ok again and ok and that will conclude our exercise for lab 8 alright and in review we installed the Windows Server backup we performed a manual backup of the local volume to a remote share we backed up the system state, we managed the VSS settings, and we enabled shadow copies for the shared volumes.